What up, people of the world? Special Caesar here coming at you with more sweet video game insanity. Let me just quickly check that this is working. Good. So we're online. This is the book of the game. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, it is a strategic, turn-based, tactical fantasy RPG in which you control a, gra a group of adventurers as they prosper across the realm and complete various contracts and explore ruins and choose which political parties they want to get involved in as they squabble and fight to control the realm. Uh, it's in a, all in a proce procedurally generated map that reacts to uh, consequences of your decisions. Uh, it's a heavily in Battle Brothers inspired game that's made by one man studio. He reached out to me and asked if I'd be interested in streaming the game. I took a look, thought it looked pretty cool and said, yeah, I'd love to. So here we are. Uh, I was supposed to stream it yesterday. I did in fact stream it yesterday at two o'clock. But for some reason, my streaming software didn't connect with the YouTube uh, software properly or something. Something happened and the stream never actually was strum <laughs> it uh it didn't go live so i was streaming for like two and a half hours yesterday got about two and a half hours into the game and then realized the stream wasn't working so i had to end the stream so we're doing it today instead guys it's a miserable wet rainy horrible day outside in bright sunny old england and that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Oh, one more thing. Shout out to Mike, the developer of the game. Huge thank you for getting in touch and granting us this opportunity to take a look at your your hard work. Uh, it's a privilege and it's really nice for the channel to receive that kind of recognition from someone as talented as yourself. So thank you ever so much for the opportunity. Without further ado, guys, that's it. Let's just dive in and see what we have to offer. I've got no idea what to expect. It's a completely brand new game, apart from the two hours I played yesterday. Truly, this is an age of darkness. Foul beasts roam the land. Abominations scurry in the dark. Bandits and scum walk the streets openly. The leader of men, Lord Pontifico Cassius, is enthralled by religion. Convinced that the world is uh, is the stage for a giant game, a grand battle between the gods. This lore is actually based on the books that he wrote. He wrote his own um, series of fantasy novels. He's, there's a couple of them in the series so far. And uh, he's based this game, the lore of it, on those books. If you want to check them out, or if you want to get more information about the game and check out the game's wiki, there is a link down in the description below. If you just click on that, it'll take you through to his website. It's a pretty cool little website. You should go check it out. Um, anyway, but it is also an age of opportunity. Treasures lay unclaimed beneath the earth. Vast glory awaits those with the courage to reach out and seize it. You have decided to piece together a band of adventurers for this very purpose. Firstly, set up some of your band's basics. Give your adventuring band a name. We're going to be called Du Bois. Starting gold we're going to have on high because I want to be able to interact with as much stuff as possible and afford as much as possible in this initial stage when I'm just learning the game and the basics and the mechanics and the ins and outs of how it works. We're going to play on normal because, you know, it's probably hard enough on normal. Uh, save any time, yep. And then we're going to change our dart design. There was one that I had yesterday which I really liked. Uh, where is it? There we go, Du Bois. I'm not sure about the colour palette we've got going on at the moment, though. And the... Oops. Colour one needs to be something better, like black or green. Yeah, that looks good. Du Bois is born. Let's go. And it very much does just jump, dump you straight in the middle of the world. You're just dumped like this in the middle of the world. You have like three mercenaries to start um, or heroes or adventurers, whatever you want to call them. They're all warriors. Warrior. Warrior. 
and Warrior. And whether they're good or not, oh god, we've got some awful rolls here. The guys I got yesterday were so much better than this, but it depends on their traits and injuries, which we're going to check out in a second. I just want to see... You press F1, view adventurer, to equip your character, click and drag between the character's equipment and the inventory. To the right, you can check out all the character's six skills and stats. In the top left, you can remove the character from your party or rename him. Okay, in the bottom right, you can check out the character's salary details and battle statistics. Okay, so F1 just uh, gives us a little help menu there. That's cool. Giant Dad, what is up, my friend? What's this supposed to be? It is a strategic turn-based fantasy RPG in which you control a band of heroes as they rampage across the land and uh, just forge their destiny. It's a very similar game to Battle Brothers. It was heavily inspired by Battle Brothers and it's uh, pretty cool. I was playing it for a couple of hours yesterday. I was meant to stream it yesterday for a couple of hours as well, which I did do, but it didn't. the stream didn't um, record for some reason. So it just turn, turns out I was just playing it for two hours by myself. Which was still good. It was a good couple of hours. We very much just started as well. You've literally just caught us as we come into it. So we've got all the basics to do. Like, for example, Greyhaven is like the main city. We start with 10,000 gold. And start with three mercs. You can hire more straight away, obviously. But the starting three mercs are your free ones. So you want them to be good. Uh, you know how this goes. Give me the tankiest one. <laughs> All right, let's have a look for you. We've got three characters to start with. They're all warriors. This guy's got 19 hit points. This guy's got 19 hit points. And this guy's got 15. This guy seems much better, but we have to move chat out of the way and see what he's got. Oh my gosh. He's ugly, so he's got a penalty to influence. He's got a bonus to hold nerve in combat because he's brave. And he's got a penalty to perception because he's oblivious. He's got pretty good strength, though, which determines hit points. I have to move you again. Uh, used to calculate hit points, damage, and is important in many combat situations. Agility, used extensively in combat and in many other situations, such as avoiding and disarming traps. Perception, use the spot traps and will increase your range of sight on the world map. It also has a marginal effect on range skills. Okay, so this guy's not a ranged user, definitely. Speed, use both on the combat screen and on the world map to determine movement speed. Has a marginal effect on melee attack speed too. Don't forget, you'll be slowed down in heavy armor. And then finally, intelligence, use mainly for spells. There is magic in this game, guys. There is healing and there is damage magic, as far as I'm aware. And I think there's utility magic as well. There's quite a cool magic system going on. You have to check out the wiki to read into it further. But uh, we'll obviously discover it more as we play. But yeah, so intelligence is used mainly for spells, but also in some encounters and events. It has a marginal effect on your attack and defense skills in melee. So basically we want strength and intelligence for you. And this guy seems to have the biggest strength and intelligence. Oh, yeah. By quite a long shot. Yeah. So, you are Timothy Cosborne, giant dad. Unfortunately, you're also ugly and oblivious. Oblivious to the fact that you're ugly, maybe. You're an axe wielder, apparently. Axe, a little slow but very damaging. Can leave your foes stunned and bleeding out. Defense relies on keeping opponent on the back foot. Okay. Sword. Wait, did that have minus defense in it? Did I see minus defense? Yeah, minus six defense. All right, we're taking that off you immediately. We'll give you something which doesn't have minus defense, like a sword. Easy to use. Ability to parry as well. Yeah, we're going to give you a parry ability, giant dad. You're going to be a parry beast. Oh, wait, this guy doesn't have skill in, in uh, weapons and... Um... 
Skill in swords, does he? No, he doesn't. Just tough. We reduce the severity of injuries after falling in battle. Also, bonus to disease and poison and poison resistance and bonus hit points. Okay, but he's dumb, so he's got a penalty to intelligence and clumsy. A dumb, clumsy guy. This that's not good. Well, whatever. He can have the axe. And then finally, what have we got here? Dawn Asher. You get chicks in this game as well. Cool. Chica warriors. Oh, so you always need to be, expect someone into the intelligence to have a diplomat. Yeah, maybe. It would be wise to have a diplomat and someone who can like reduce cost of merchants and town and stuff like that. But you also need a guy, you need like a rogue guy who can deactivate traps, disarm traps and spot traps and stuff. You also need a healer. Um, there's lots of different classes and stuff in this. There's lots of different diversity to the characters. Once again, if you check out the wiki, it'll tell you there's like six um, six base character uh, classes, I think. Something like that. And then they all diverge into three. So there's another three on top of those six. So it's 18 or something different types of uh, units that you can get. And they've all got different abilities and stuff. It's, it seems really cool. I've barely scratched the surface, so I can't really tell you more. But it sounds amazing. Anyway, she's got skills in spear. So we'll keep a spear on her. That's fine. She's oblivious as well. And she's slow and careful in all ways. Whatever careful means. So those are our three starting warriors. Let's hire some more. Let's see what else we've got available. Whoa, look at these people. Cool. A rogue, a rogue, a warrior, a warrior. We've already got three warriors. A rogue, a rogue, and I think that says rogue. It does, in fact, say rogue. So, uh, maybe we've got three warriors. We've got one tank warrior. He's giant dad. We've got a... I'm not really sure what he is. I might take his uh, shield away. And he can just be a crazy axe guy with one hand. Armor, chainmail, common, armor plus two. Mid tier armor, not too heavy, solid protection. Shield, common. Defense plus five. Adds great defense, but it's heavy and tiring. Huh. I'm not really sure how the uh, battle mechanics work in this, so we're basically just doing stuff on a, on a whim. Let's get this chick, she looks cool. Do you want to hire Tina Lovic? Yes, we do. 750 gold now. Expect 14 gold a day. 5% share of all treasure. The values increase as the character gain levels. Yep, that's fine. I think he can dual wield here. Let's find out. Uh, he's got an axe so far. Let's take the sword from you and see if we can give it to him. No, you can't. Apparently it's impossible to dual wield. It's a realistic game, yo. You can't just run around with two swords like a maniac. You're not barbarian, for crying out loud. What's she got? A knife. A knife! A knife! Whoa, she's pretty good. She's pretty solid. We're actually going to take the knife away and give the knife to... I don't know, you can have a giant dad as a reserve weapon. I don't know if stabbing down enemies like in Battle Brothers and this is a thing. I don't think it is, but who knows. So it's very quick attacks and a solid blow can penetrate the thickest of armors. So I think it's got a solid blow ability which has really high armor pen. So it sounds like um, there's a similar mechanic to Battle Bros. So we're going to give that to you. And then she's going to have leather armor. And we're going to buy her a crossbow. Because she's got... She's going to be a ranged uh, trap spotter for us. She's got really high perception. So good to spot traps. And so we're going to keep her perception high. And then her agility high as well. She's going to high agility and perception. And then she's going to disarm all the traps and stuff for us. 
So that's cool. She's really good. She's really um she seems pretty powerful. From what I can tell. And then do we want another rogue for like front lining? Like a front line rogue who goes really fast and like attacks and like shanks down heavily armored enemies really quickly. Or like carries a two handed weapon or something and just attacks solidly really quickly. I think we go for that. Let's get Beatrice Shepherd. The last the last chick we hired hung um worked out for us. So let's get another one. Let's see what she is. She comes with a knife as well. Uh, she's got higher strength than the other rogue. She can spot trap and disarm trap as well, just like the other chick. Yeah. But she's got less perception and more strength. That's perfect, actually. Good fun to be around. She's gregarious. Huh. Okay. So we're going to take that knife and put it in as a reserve weapon. We're going to go buy her a massive two-handed sword. Hopefully, or something like that. Since I have axe mastery, shouldn't I get the axe? Because it's not as bad. Oh, do you have axe mastery? I didn't notice that. You're right, you do. Yes, sorry. Good shout, good spot. Nicely noticed. I took it away from you because it has minus six defense. But I didn't realize you had axe skills. Increases combat skill with this weapon, so yeah. Cool. Cool. Good shout. Uh, what are we doing? Yeah, getting going to the shop. Yeah, cool. So we want to buy her something like this. Two-handed axe master. Unfortunately, it's 18,000. We've only got 8,000. So we're not buying, buying it for her. Is this a two-handed sword? Or is this just a normal sword for 1,000? But there is a crossbow here. Crossbow good. Much slower firing than the bow, but easier to aim and greater armor pen. It's only 2,000, so we're going to buy that. Because we've got 8,000. What's this? Leather armor master. No, we don't want that yet. It's too expensive. Chain, good chain mail. We could buy that for you, giant dad. Get you some good chain mail. Or we could get you plate mail. Yeah, we could afford plate mail for... Oh, no, we need to buy a weapon as well. Damn it, we could almost get you plate mail, mate. But that... That's armor plus six, but it says severely hampers movement and combat skill. Would you rather be tanky and not able to move, or would you rather have the ability to kill and fight? I think I'd rather buy a weapon and a two-handed weapon. There isn't any. There aren't any. There's only this one, which is too expensive. Well, not yet for the plate mail. Yeah, it's too early. That would be all our money, basically. That's why I'm saying maybe the chain mail. That would be 3,000. And then we can get the sword for the other biatch. This chick needs a weapon as well, right? We give her a sword. And a shit. Just give her a normal... Normal uh, equipment, basically. Actually, this guy's got sword mastery, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. He's tough. Give her that sword. And then this guy can just be a one-handed swordsman. Or maybe an axe. Attack 7, attack 2. Defense minus 1. This little slow but very damaging can leave your foe stunned and bleeding out. Defense. Well, no, if we get that axe, we want that for you, right? Defense relies on keeping your opponent on the back foot. Chainmail for now because I think play mail is too much. Yeah, I agree. That sets us back 3k, but we can afford it. And then we've got another 3,500, so we can't get the axe anymore. We can get a good sword or a good mace. Weapon of choice against heavy armor and also good at leaving enemies shaken. Not great defensively due to weight and lack of a handguard. I think we give that to the, the single-handed guy. And he can, like, stun people and stuff. Yeah, I'm happy with that. What's this? Just a staff. Uh. No, we want, we want a mace. 
This guy can be our mace man. Running around with a mace, just smacking people in the hand, in the head, stunning them. And then chain mail for you. Rogues can't wear this, can they? No. So the possession, the, the what is it called? Profession. They have different professions, and the different professions can wear different types of armor and stuff. It's not like Battle Brothers where you can equip anything on anyone and that just reduces their fatigue. It's um much more streamlined than Battle Brothers. Okay, so we've got five people. I'm happy with that. Let's check our formation. How do we do that? Oh, let's go into the missions. How do we do our formation? Is it in the... Here, isn't it? No. Oh, it's you click on this, don't you? And then, yeah, it's up here. There we go. Now I remember. So how do we want our formation to be set out? Uh, where's the crossbow biatch? There. Giant dad in the middle. And then one on either side like that. I think that's how we want... Chainmail guy and then mace guy in the background just uh, protected but like smacking stuff on the flank that seems pretty good to me so let's see what rogues can only wear leather I think yes they can that's correct as far as I'm aware well ne not necessarily leather but light armor which is mostly leather um we're saving Save the game. Now that we're set up. We've got plenty of gold. We've got enough gold to last. Wages per day. 70 gold. We've got enough gold to last us forever at the moment. But we want bounty hunting. We definitely want this. Because this pays as soon as you kill a bandit. It pays you 100 gold for each bandit you kill. It's really good. And it lasts 30 days. So you just rampage around the area. Slaughtering bandits for as long as possible. So that's bounty hunting and then caravan guards. So you can do stuff like this in the game, spy on the elves. So you choose a race between elves, dwarfs, humans, and I think orcs, if you can get into their strongholds. Um, you choose a race that you want to side with and then you start doing political missions for them and then joining battles for them and stuff and your reputation with them goes up and it gets really cool. What is that, that heart on the top right of the town square? It's healing. It's resting. You can choose to rest and that heals your men, but they have to pay for accommodation. So they lose money and they don't want to rest around for too long. At the moment, we're in full health, obviously, so we don't need to do that. Um, so look, spy on the elves, for example. Spy on the elves. Our enemies in the game constantly make their moves against us. Travel to Phaedrim and be in my eyes and ears. No detail is too small. Then return to Greyhaven and I shall reward you. Your map will be marked to show you where to go. You'll be paid 400 gold. You must return within 30 days. So that there is the elf city. That's where the purple dot is. That's the elf capital. That's where the elves are. The dwarves are down here, I think, in like a dwarven capital. And then the rest of these and then the rest of up here are just on the map are just human cities as far as i'm aware like battle brothers and then down here is a region called the salts which is completely barren which i'm assuming will be like heading out into the wilds in battle brothers or something so yeah we don't want to take i would normally take caravan guards but this is really far away so it's not worth it we're just going to go around and just slaughter bub slaughter um bandits around this area instead. We must do an orc playthrough later. Oh no, you can't start as that race. You always start as humans. You can just join their, you can just ally with them is what I mean. He might add it in later. There might be different races. He is patching and upgrading and updating the game constantly. So he might add in different races like elves, dwarves and orcs later. But for the moment, you can only play humans and you can ally with those different races. So let's let's get out of here. Let's go find something to kill. Oh, there we go. Bandits. Get them, boys. Even more bandits. They're running away. Oh, what? We can't cross the river. Oh, we can. It just, it's just really slow. How come they can cross the river faster than us when they're um, 
a massive army of guards, and we're just like four guys. And we're just like, oh, we can't make it. Anyway, let's go get these fuckers now, now that we've uh, come all this way. Oh, there's fucking two of them. Oh, he just got shot in the face. But Dawn blocked it. Good work, Dawn. Giant Dad, charge. Patrick Allen, charge as well. We need to hunt down that archer. Don't give him a chance to fire at you. Whoops, I didn't mean to put the rogue in front. That was a mistake. Bit too much charging there. We've got to chill out a bit and just slow it down. Now she's going to get shot. Oh, she dodged. That was lucky. She dodged because she had a uh, moving target. Giant Dad, go there. Patrick Allen, go... Oh, no, I meant to go one below. Oh, whatever. Go there, go there. Uh, you can move up to here and then shoot, actually. Shoot the archer. Oh, can you not shoot? 64 action points. Oh, it's 65. We've missed one action point. Brick. All right, you can just defend then. And then you can move to here. And turn. Oh, Giant Dad, you're being stabbed, mate. Don't stand for that. Fucking bosh him back. Melee attack him back. Splat! And again? Can you only do that once? Why can you only attack once? 35. Oh, it's 65 melee attack. To attack with the axe. Bloody hell. You did a fair chunk of damage, though. The first thing to happen in the first fight, getting shot in the face. <laughs> and then you just got stabbed in the face as well. There is a zone of control in this as well. So they do get attacks of opportunity if you try and move out. So Giant Dad, you're a bit stuck there at the moment. What we're going to do is we're going to move up with this guy, flanking him, and then stab him. Blammo! And then she's going to charge onto the archer. She's going to charge up to the archer there. You're going to shoot the archer. Whoa, that was close. Almost hit our own guy. All right, you're not going to shoot anymore. And then you can charge up to here. What the fuck? Oh, this guy was in the way. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, so you have to be careful with that then. Even though it says there's a square there, he can't. if he can't make it, if there's no lining, if there's no path he can take, he'll go like the long route. You have to be careful when you double click. Trying to flee. Don't let him. Oh, you, you let him get away. So attacks of opportunity don't prevent you from moving like they do in Battle Brother. Battle Brothers. In Battle Brothers, if you get hit, you take the damage and you also don't move. In this, obviously, if you take the hit, you just take damage. But if it's not enough to kill you, you still run away and move away. So that's good to know. Oh, and even though we didn't get the kill, we also got the gold for it. That's fine with me. And we got some shit to sell. Brilliant. Right, there are some more bandits over this way, so let's... Um... Oh, they're crossing the river. That'll take forever to go and get. Fuck you, you idiots. Let's go this way. Let's go to Prolas and see if there's any missions for us. A mining town full of smoke, dirt, and poverty. Oh, the map's always the same as well. That's one thing that I will say. Battle Brothers, obviously, it's um, the map is generated from the beginning. It's, it's random. That's one hell of a downgrade. What is? Well, the map. Undead. Your crew are just beginning to think they are getting into the hang of travelling in the mountains when there's a fall. Dawn Asher has been hurt, but it doesn't look too serious. She lost a few hit points. Thank goodness. We're not even in the mountains. We're right outside the town. What the fuck? We've been travelling in the mountains for days and she's fine. And then we get within five foot of the town and she trips on a rock. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, who was it? Which one of you idiots was it? It was you, wasn't it? No, it was Dawn Fisher. It was her. Dawn Asher. She does she has full hit points. What the fuck? Who was it then? That is weird. 
Where the giant dad, you're all half dead. We might have to rest and recuperate. We might just carry on though, to be honest, and not really care about your wounds. Uh huh. Hire. Let's see if there's anything different for hire here. An acolyte, a warrior, and a warrior. We're gonna hire the acolyte, even though he's shirtless and looks like a fucking creep. Look at that creepazoid face. We're definitely gonna hire him. You know the fact that enemies can run away even if they get hit. Yeah, potentially, but it's also good for you as well for moving out of zone of control. If you think you're going to lose a battle against an enemy, you can move out and they'll get one attack on you. You'll take the hit, but then you can still run away. So it works in, it works in your favor just as much as the enemies. It's, something, it's just a different mechanic. But that should also apply to you too, right? Yeah, exactly. That's what I just said. Uh, Joy, John Franks, the Acolyte, you're hired. 15,000 gold? What the fuck? Do we even have 1,500 gold? Yeah, we've got enough to hire him and he's in a lack. Yeah, he's hired. Let's see what acolytes can do. Hopefully you're a healer. Right, he's got a staff. Doesn't say. Oh, mana is 4 out of 14. Okay. So they do have mana. He's got pretty good intelligence. He's got pretty good stats for a... Uh, he could do with more speed, I reckon. But apart from that, he's got pretty good... Uh, pretty good stats. Maybe 12 in intelligence would have been nice. Anyway, he's got will. Force of will for wizards allows more spells to be cast. Nice. Power, mind power for wizards increases spell potency. Cool. And flash... A blinding flash of light that will dizzy, disorient, friend and foe in range. Okay, so he's a wizard. He's not a healer at the moment. I think you have to buy something that can heal. I don't know. Uh, he's strong, so he's got a bonus to strength. That's not useful. Oh, and he's lazy. So he's got a penalty to experience gain. That sucks. Magic is rare, mate. Yeah. Well, we found someone who's got magic, so we're going to try and keep him alive. We're going to keep him back here. We're going to give him a shirt as well. For crying out loud, man, would you put some clothes on? I'm guessing you can't wear chainmail. No. We'll not wear armor. It's not allowed armor. Shit. They're not allowed any armor. You don't even have a shirt for him. He just runs around naked. Shit. What about arrow fire? One arrow and he's dead. Should we give him a shield? Then he can't. It's not allowed to use a shield. Okay. So literally just naked crazy people running around with sticks. <laughs> oh my goodness. We don't have any money either. I was going to say, let's go see if we can buy him a decent shirt or something in the shop. But he just sucked up all our money. Yeah, here we go. Look. Oh no, that's plate mail. Oh, the music as well. That's something else that's really nice about the game. I really like the music. It's really relaxing. Master two-handed sword for 16,000, eh? Keep the forges of the battle burning brightly. Base value, 3,000 coal, selling for 2,000. See, I should have bought some resources if they're... I don't know if they're cheap or not. That's what I was saying. Maybe there are robes. That's what I thought we could come and buy, but I can't see any. Uh, we're running low on money, so I'm going to sell most of this equipment. Uh, I shouldn't have sold the shield, actually. I meant to keep the shield. That was a mistake. But they're only 50, so we can buy it back. Yeah, cool. So you've got equipment from one more man. But they come with chainmail anyway, don't they? The men, when you hire them, warriors come with chainmail. So I think we should just sell the chainmail. It's an extra 500. Yeah, fuck it. We need the money at the moment. Sell it all. Let's go find some more ba bastards to kill. Bandits. Any missions? Caravan guards in a spider nest. Ooh. You know how I feel about spiders, chat. You know from Battle Brothers how I feel about spiders. Let's take a look at the caravan guards. Maybe it's near? No, that's fucking miles away. That's the elven forest as well where you can't do anything. It's only 500 gold. So we're not going to do that. We're going to save it and we're going to go after the spiders, yo! Spider nest. Foul spiders roam the outskirts of our territory, find their nests and put an end to their de depredations. You'll be paid 1,500 gold. Your contract will last a maximum of 30 days. Look out for heavy cobwebs and corpses shrouded in spider silk. 
Yeah, I remember trying this one yesterday and I didn't get very far with it. Uh, I wandered towards the woods. It says try looking in the woods. Look, spider's nest. Find the spider's nest and destroy it. 30 days left. The people of Prolius reported the nest, but it could be far away. Look in the forests. You know what I'm saying? That's so vague. Bounty hunting bandits. Find and kill bandits. Luckily, we have to wander around here looking for bandits anyway. These guys have gone too far. They're miles away. Let's go check the woods here. See, it's probably not going to be this close. But there might be some bandits around here that we can kill. No, nothing. So let's come down here and check the woods down here. This is why I saved it as well. It's not so much that I'm scared of the spiders or I'm worried about defeat, which is possible. It's more the fact that I just don't know where I'm going with this quest. Last time I just wandered into the woods for ages and just found a camp, fought the camp and then died in the camp because there was a brigand leader there and it just eradicated us. So I don't know if I'm doing the right thing here. See what I mean? You just wander around. There's no indication of if I'm going the right... Oh, what's this? Elven warriors patrolling. Have you fought undead yet? No, I haven't fought undead yet. I haven't found a camp yet. I've only played for a couple of hours. I got about this far yesterday and then realized the stream wasn't streaming. And I uh, decided to leave. Decided to stop and just stream instead today. See what I mean? We're just wandering around now wasting pay. Oh, it does have aspirations as well. So we've got baubles of power, choosing an aspiration. Arcane equipment will spread fame far and wide. Have at least one magical artifact. Okay. Our bit in, we need a core crew that will never let us down. Have at least three adventurers reach level five. That might take a while. Elf friend, the elf has much, has much to teach us and to sell us. And dub, doubtless they have many uses for a party like us. Reach friendly terms with the elves. Colossus. We can base our strategy around fighting with a mighty Colossus. Have an adventure with strength at least 13. Let's go for that because you're already closed, aren't you, Giant Dad? You're on 12, so we're going to go for Colossus. And try and have you as a Colossus. But I'm going to load anyway because this has just been a pointless waste of time. We're just wandering around in the woods. So I'm not going to take this spider mission. I'm not... I don't understand how it works. I'll ask Mike later how it's supposed to work. Because I don't know. I've basically done this. I did this yesterday. And I ran out of money just wandering around in the woods. Not sure where I'm meant to be going. Like this is the woods, right? These are all woods. There's, there's no other woods anywhere else on the map, really. Yeah, it's cool, Giant Dad. I'm going to load it anyway, because this is a waste of our time. And we're not, we're not going to bother doing that contract, the spider nest. We won't do caravan guards either, cause it, although that will take us to the, the elven forest. You want to get friendly with the elves, right, Giant Dad? If we do that, that'll take us to the city of the elves, and then we can pick up some contracts there for that from them. And get friendly with them. And then that can be our ambition, our ambition when it pops up. That sounds like a good idea. Let's do that. Pay is good. Yeah. But guys, bear with me one second. I just need to run to the loo and get myself a drink. So use this time yourself to get any refreshments you got to get. Go to the loo. Do anything you got to do. And I'll be right back in just a moment. Thank you so much for your patience.
Right, guys, I'm back. Thank you for your patience. Sorry about the wait. Right. Let's go. Time to get friendly with some elves, yo, and hopefully some bandits will attack us along the way. There were bandits down here, weren't they? Patrolling around here, coming around here, looking for bandit, for looking for wagons and stuff. Nope, these guys chased them off. Damn it, there's so many guards everywhere. I want bandits to attack. Oh, they're there. Guards keep chasing the bloody bandits away. We're wasting days when we could be collecting gold. That didn't seem like it was worth it. 500 gold for all that way. Well, at least we can pick up missions. Caravan guard, spy on Cassius, and bandit camp. Ooh, bandit camp we can probably do. Maybe. Maybe not. So two skull contracts. Brigands have set up a base nearby. Find it and destroy it. You'll be paid 1,000 gold. Uh, I'm going to save it before doing this. And then we're going to accept it. Bandit shouldn't be too hard. No, it should not. Do we have anything else? Hire. You're not good enough friends with the elves to recruit here. Okay, shop. Oh, we can buy stuff from you. Oh, look, robes. Cloak of Darkness. Create cast a spell to darken the battlefield. Oh, they're, they're only 50,000, guys. Don't worry about it. The robes. It's only 50,000, giant dad. That's all. <laughs> Allows you to bless your allies. A belt of bless. Cool. Cloak of perception increases your perception. Good quality cloth. Belt of perception. Increases your perception. So you want that on archers, basically. Cool. They also have some cool shit, yo. Not that we have any money right now. Let's go do this bandit camp. Where is it? Oh, it says find it and destroy it, right? So you have to find that as well. Find the bandit base and destroy it. It is said to be in the vicinity of Fagrim. Okay, Fagrim is here. Vicinity means what in this game? Whoa, the speed just went mental. Oh, we've got different ambitions now. Okay. So every time you load, it procs different ambitions. Cheater of death. The skilled healer will help us enormously and be great for a while. Have a healer with a skill of at least two. I don't know how to get a healer. I thought the acolyte might have been a healer that we could have used, but he's obviously not. So I'm not sure how to do that one yet. We're just not going to do it. I'm going to try and do it, but not have it as an ambition in case it's really hard. Blood on the battlefield. Let us cut a sway through our enemies. Kill a horde of at least 10 enemies. We'll probably do that eventually. Fairly soon, probably. We need a core crew that will never set it down. Yeah, have three adventurers, level five. The horde. Strength in numbers. Win a battle with a horde of eight adventurers. We've got how many adventurers at the moment? Six. So we only need two more. That's quite doable, although we don't have the money for two more. Let's go for this and see if we're about to fight the bandits. The game literally says magic. Now, nah, wait till you get characters to level 15 or something. Yeah. I'm wondering about that magic system. I mean, he's got flash. I think that's the spell there because it's in blue. The blinding flash of light that will dizzy and disorient friend or foe in range. So it depends how big the range on that is and how big the AoE effect is. That could be really useful for like blinding archers and stuff. I'm just worried about the fact he's got no armor. What the fuck am I doing with this bandit camp? There's, it says somewhere near Fagrim. That could be anywhere. Dawn Asher seems to be suffering from a bad bout of melancholia. You wonder what could be wrong with her and try your best to cheer her up. Perhaps it's nothing. Yeah, get over it, woman. It's just that time of the month. We all know it. 
Okay, I'm coming going round. I'm just going to go in spiraling circle round Fagrim until we find it. Man, finding these camps is a bitch. It needs to give you a direction like Battle Brothers does. Battle Brothers says it's somewhere to the southwest or somewhere to the northeast or somewhere in this direction in the region of this. Whereas this just says it's somewhere near Fagrim. Good luck. As expected of the elves, though, good leather, good robes, good bows and stuff. So yeah, basically. We're going to find it, load, and then go straight back there. Because this is just a waste of time. I have no idea where this bandit camp is. We might just load and not bother with a bandit camp. Yeah, because I have no idea where this camp's supposed to be. I'm just wandering around in circles out here. Yeah, fuck it. So I'm really liking the concept. I'm really liking the artwork. I'm really liking the style. It's just the execution is sadly just lacking a little bit. But I can give him feedback and he's plenty change. Oh, yeah, there you go. Bandits, finally. Fuck yeah. So yeah, there are six of us. There's just a few things. I like this. The battlefield's great. I really like this. Whoa, bows have a long range. Uh, giant dad, you can charge. Patrick Allen can charge to there. She can charge to there. No. Hang on, get rid of the trees. How do you get rid of the trees? There you go, fade overgrowth. Go there. Crossbow lady can move here and then shoot. No, it does that to me every time. 52 and it's 50... Oh, 62, okay. Oh, he's behind cover as well. He's got a good position there, the archer. Go there. Come down this way so you're away from the archer and you're behind the tree. Whoa, he's got a load of movement, that guy, actually. Without a shirt on, he can move really far. No, he's shooting at the shirtless man! Get up there behind the tree. Get up there behind him. Come up there next to him. Shoot the archer. No, move up to the tree for cover. Come to here. Do your flash. Where is it? Flash. Three mana. 100 AP. Uses all his AP and three of his mana. Where does it say mana? 9 out of 14. Let's see how it works. Bazow! So he flashed him. He's stunned. Yeah, he's stunned. We managed to stun him. And he's stunned as well. He managed to stun them both. That's a pretty cool move. That is a long-range stun. That is really good, actually. I didn't realize that's what it did. Classic bonk on the head move. It will do little damage, but its purpose is to stun. Yeah. Oh, no, that's the stun. Whoops. Flash. A blinding flash of light that will dizzy and disorient friend and foe in range. It just says dizzy and di disorient. It doesn't use the word stun, so I'm surprised at that. That's really good, though. It's a long-range stun, and it only costs three mana. Wait a minute, then. If I'm right, dwarves should have good stuff for tanks and two-handers and maybe good crossbows. Yeah. Well, possibly. They definitely have good armor and shields. Maybe good axes as well. Is that everyone done? Yeah, yeah. What? They were stunned. What the fuck? Okay, so I guess stun doesn't work the way that I thought it does. Uh, yeah, smack him back. Are oh, you bleeding? Yeah, you are, but it doesn't say for how much. It just says bleeding. 
Alright, smacking 50%. You're exhausted as well. Oh well, just smack him anyway. Good damage. Nice. Step forth and sp stun him or smack him. Stun 75 AP. We've got just enough to stun him. Stun him. Blammo! That's how you stun him! Run up to the archer. Don't shoot. Don't you dare for the love of God. Don't you dare even think about shooting. Run up to the archer as well. Uh, you can just stay where you are. He's fleeing. Stab him! Oh, that fucked him up good. He's definitely going to be regressing attacking us. Why are we attacking? Why are we fighting any groups of two men at the moment? This is silly. This is just a this is just a landslide slaughter. And there's no other groups anywhere anywhere else. It's crazy. Uh, what are we doing? We're just finding and killing bounty bandits. Should we head down to the dwarves? See if the dwarves have anything good in Mount Gunthan. Think the stun halves AP? Maybe. Oh, I'll take a look next time. Let's go to Stilak first, see if there's any contracts in Stilak. We'll just make our way from town to town on the way to the dwarves. Warrior, warrior, warrior. And some punk haired bitch. Warrior. Mm -hmm. Oh, someone can get a knife. Spider nest that can fuck off. That can fuck right off. Oh, here we go. Choose a party aspiration. Slayer. Strike fear into our enemies' hearts by having a known killer in our midst. Have an adventurer has racked up 10 kills. Okay, possible. Mastery. Mastering a few skills is much more important than being a jack of all trades. Have an adventurer who has reached second level in a skill. Is that mastering? Is it level two? It's mastery, is it? That's not very high. Every brains, every crow needs a brains of the operation. Have an adventurer with intelligence of at least 13. Well, this guy's probably going to get there eventually. Or fairly soon, because we're going to keep putting him up. Cheater of death. And the skill, the skill healer one. Uh, let's go for Slayer. Ten kills is like ten battles, basically, isn't it? Something like that, so... As, I, as sad as it is, I think caravans are the way to go for now. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Let's go back to Greyhaven and see if there's any more work for us there. Actually, no, let's just come across. Let's just cut across the fields. To cross winds. Caravan guards. There we go. Oh, it's back north, though. How much is it? 500? Should we go back north or should we carry on down to the realm of the dwarves to see what they have to offer? This would at least get us pay, like 500 pay. Seems to me a bit pointless going and seeing the dwarves when we've only got 1,800 as well. We're not going to be able to afford anything even if they have it. I think we should just rack up money, stay north, rack up money, kill a shitload of bandits, and spend 30 days killing bandits in the area. Because we know there are bandits up there. We don't know if there'll be bandits down in the dwarf realms. I mean, there might be, but who knows. Let's just, let's just go wherever the caravan guards takes us, basically, and rack up pay and kill bandits en route. And then, uh, then we'll go find the dwarves after that when we've actually got money.
Oh, look, bandits, and we're going north. Two bandits. Are you fucking kidding me? We're going north. That's so typical. That is... Oh, God. That is so frustrating. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, fuck you, game. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Uh, we're going all the way north to Greyhaven, and there's not a bandit in sight. Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. Whatever. 500 fairly easy crowns. Any more missions here, you cunts? Whoa! There's a lot of, uh, m lots of uh, missions here. Caravan guards again. Boring. Guard duty, boring. Spy on the dwarves. Uh... Necromancer, that sounds exciting. The Necromancer. I think the most important thing to do at the start is spec someone as a spotter. A spotter of what? A spotter of traps? The Necromancer. A sinister figure attracts your attention from a dark alleyway. I need a simple task performing. It's for my... Experiments. Frankly, I need the fresh skull of an orc. I shall reward you well if you do this for me. So the necromancer wants the skull of an orc. Are we going to do that for him? Is that a good idea? Finding an orc skull for a necromancer and giving it to him? What do we do here, chat? What do we do here? What's guard duty about? Rich and rather shady merchant wants a warehouse guarded. It seems to be a bit worried there might be some trouble in the next few days. We pay 500 gold. Mission will be mission will start as soon as you clicked accept. It will be contracted for three days. This just says doesn't have a time limit. If we accept this, we'll eventually come across a an orc skull, won't we? It's just whether or not we want to give it to the necromancer. Oh, I see. You mean a spotter on the map for finding camps? Yes, you're not wrong. But she, yeah, exactly. She's going to have a high perception anyway. She's going to be our general spotter trap person with our really high perception. So yeah, that's going to be her ambition. We need to level her up first. So we need more battles. We haven't had any battles in ages. We can't find anything. Uh, do we want to accept this is what I'm asking. Yeah, let's do it for science. Bring one orc skull to Salloway's and await me there. Okay. Let's do guard duty since it's just three days here. No, guard duty... If we get attacked by bandits while doing guard duty, will that fulfill the other contract? Kill an orc, collect his skull and trade it into the necromancer in Salloway's, yeah. 19 days left of bandit hunting. Do we want to waste 300 days? Uh, 300 days. Do we want to waste three days of our 19 days of bandits waste on guard duty when we're probably not going to get attacked and we're probably not going to have anything to do? Probably not. Let's do the caravan guards. Do the bandit camp. Really? You want to do the bandit camp? You want to try and find that? Okay, let's uh, save it so we don't waste too much time. And let's try the bandit cam. Bandits shouldn't be too hard. We The hard thing isn't fighting them so much. It's finding them first. Said to be in the vicinity of Greyhaven. How far is vicinity? Vicinity is too vague, my friend. It's too vague a word to be finding... Oh, bandits. Maybe they came from their camp. Oh, there we go. Cool. We found it. Robbers and bandits. Time to reclaim some of their loot, perhaps. Yeah, let's kill these guys first, though. Yeah, it should count. You're not wrong. It was a good decision. It's just whether... 
find it was the issue I was having. We got one archer. Man is back up, so let's try. It's 11 out of 14. Let's try zapping this guy. Let's see what effect it has. No, his AP hasn't been halved, see? His AP is the same still. He just had stunned. It's got stunned there, but obviously the stun doesn't work the way I think stun works. Because he just moves immediately, so he's, and he still fires. And he's still shit. He's still hot at the for five damage. That stun doesn't seem to do anything, actually, in the end. I'll ask him what he means. I'll ask uh, Mike, the developer, what the fuck that's supposed to do. So that's something else to add to the list of stuff to question him on. Parry! Seven damage. Parry again! Nice! Come to here and smack him. Blammo! Step forward and strike! Miss. Strike again! Five damage. Shoot the archer. No, that went, that went miles wide. Where was that aimed at? Move forward. Step to there and stab him as well. Strike O! And another one! Splammo! And you can just chill there because you're Gimp Man. Hiding in the corner with no shirt on. Oh, the archer's gonna fight. Fuck! Beatrice is in trouble. That sucks. She's really damaged. We need her for the next fight. I thought the archer would have run by now, but he's gonna stand his ground and shoot us like a cunt. Shoot him back. Oh my god! No! <laughs> Tina, what the fuck was that? She just nailed Beatrice in the back right before we're going into a brigand camp. Tina, you stupid cunt. Now he's fleeing, the bastard. He just took someone out. He took out Beatrice by himself. Oh, she didn't die. She survived. She survived. Oh my god. I think she survived. There's no skull. And it's saying she's leveled up. Beatrice Shepard gained nine experience, one kill, damaged knee. Minus one agility. Yeah, she survived with a wound, with an injury. Thank fuck for that. Tina! You fuckhead! I think it is a reload, to be honest. Well, we're not going to reload too much. We're only learning the game. I don't want to keep reloading all the time. She survived. She just has a bad knee now. It's quite funny. She's not that relevant, Beatrice. She's just a random, uh, just a random unit. We weren't doing anything with her. Penalty to combat skills for 24 days. Minus one agility. Morale content. Salary statistics. We can level her up. Oh, she rolled really poorly. So I read this already, guys. If you want to read it as well, you can pause the, the VOD. You can pause the stream and just read it for yourselves. That explains the role, the leveling up mechanic in when the role here. But I've already read it, so I'm not going to waste my time reading it. Just feel free to pause it. Wait, are injuries permanent? It's it's like Battle Brothers. You get a permanent injury if you go down, but you gain injuries for being in low health and just getting messed up. Penalty to combat skills for 24 days. The thing is, I don't know how to take her off. She's only on one hit point. I don't know how to remove her from the combat roster. Like in Battle Brothers. That's again something else I need to ask Mike about. Anyway. We are going to go for fit. Staff. Crossbow. Dodge. Dodge blows in close combat. What does it mean it blows in close combat? Isn't, isn't dodge supposed to be good for close combat? It says dodge blows in combat. Also useful avoiding traps, etc. Not easy to use in heavy armor. Let's give her dodge. 
All enemies in range get a penalty to hit. Further levels increase area of effect. Haggle. No. Give, gives a free strike to the first enemy to move into base contact. Yeah, Opportunist is quite good. We're going to take Opportunist for her. Because she's almost dead as well. Steps into her range. Uh, this guy's got level up as well. Oh, he, he rolled shit as well. Oh, well. Um, Mighty Blow might be good for him. Increased melee critical hit chance. No, shield, no axe. Oh, we could give him mace since he's using a mace. Yeah. Let's just increase. Oh, rotate could be really good though. Yeah, they are a bit vague. It's all about kind of working it out. But so was Battle Brothers for a while. When it first came out, Battle Brothers was kind of vague in how it was taught or presented to you. You had to figure out all the mechanics and the ins and outs just by playing. Like the armor, for example, you have no idea how much the armor values were until you picked up the armor yourself and looked at it at your inventory. So when you were first doing combats in Battle Brothers and first learning that, it all seemed really vague and confusing. But there's quite a lot of uh, underneath uh, sub-mechanics going on that once you learn and understand, it all makes sense. We either go for Rotate or we go for Maze. I say we go for Rotate because Rotate's a really useful skill. And I want to see how much it costs to Rotate as well. Tina, even though you shot someone in the back, you get an upgrade. You get a good leather armor. This bitch is probably going to die. She's got two hit points. How does she have to... Oh, she leveled up. Right. I call our group Du Bois, not knowing that... Right, so we defeated them. This is what I mean. How do I make sure she doesn't come into battle with us? Set party formation. Can you turn her off? How do you take her off? I don't want her in the next battle. She's one hit away from death. Empty deployment zone. Yeah, you heal over time like in Battle Brothers, but there's no point. There's no point. I don't want her on the, the, the battlefield. She'll just die. She'll just get shot and then die. There doesn't, there doesn't appear to be a way to take them off the...
way because she's a fucking maniac. She's a fucking maniac. <laughs> She she only does friendly fire, basically, yeah. That's all she's done so far is friendly fire on us. Now the enemy's gonna step in and just slaughter the last fucking health points that we have. Oh god, the leader! Bandit boss is just fucking giant dad up, right. Fuck this guy up. Nice. Rotate him out. Rotate him out and stun. Oh, he doesn't have enough. He should have had enough. It was 100. It was 40. What the fuck? Does he only have... It costs 40 to rotate. So he should have 60 AP left. Right? Rotate 40. Oh, he must have started with less action points or something because he's tired or something. I don't know. There must be a mechanic there I'm not understanding. Oh, I'll go for the hit. Splam! Move up. And defend. Uh, you can wait. You can step forward and stun him. That failed. Can you shoot? Missile attack, select target. No, she can't do anything. This is what I mean by getting the opportunity. Move away. Nothing. No shooting. What? No shooting in close combat. I'm not trying to shoot. I'm trying to move. Okay, maybe that's selected still. No? Okay. There we go. See, she took the she took the attack, missed, and now she gets to shoot. Nice. Uh, who else to go? This chick can run and chase the archer down. Hide behind the bush. What does sprint do? Able to enter sprint. Oh, whoops! I clicked on it by mistake. Able to enter sprint mode. Your speed will be increased at the cost of a small defensive penalty. Oh, she can barely get anywhere with that. So let's deactivate that. Oh, it's too late. Uh, because she's an opportunist, that's why she can do it. I don't know why you're facing this way. You need to face this way. Face the other, face towards the archer, please. Make sure you didn't get shot in the ass or you're going to die. Because that's what happened to you last time, you silly cow. Oh, God. Here comes the, here comes the thunder. Oh, splat! Giant dad, get in there and fuck him up. Five damage. Fuck him up as well. Okay, he's not... He just dodged twice. Blam! A good shot from Tina Lockhart. Love it, finally. We definitely have to reload this. We need these guys tanking the boss leader. This guy killing everyone else. Go and fuck him up. Come here and stun. 63. 59. No, just go into defend mode. Oh, God, she murdered him. The archer just brutally murdered her. <laughs> he had a fucking sword. No one knew. Well, fucking hell, he almost, he almost shot giant dad, but it's desperate times. You stun him. Stun doesn't... There we go. Is he stunned? No, he just did damage. Well, that was pointless. Oh, giant dad. You're almost dead, mate. Fuck him up. Fuck him up again. Fuck him up some more. Fuck him up. He's still not dead. This guy is fucking solid. Blammo! There we go. We got him. This is a shit show. It really is a complete shit show, isn't it? Fucking Archer. We're going to reload anyway. Giant Dad, you're exhausted and have no health. So just run up here. Get away from the Archer. This bitch has a bit of health. Come and hide behind the stone. You, advance and open fire. You crazy fucking maniac bone woman. You, come and hide behind the bush. Oh, nice try. I shielded it. Right, go get the fucking archer. Come down so you've got a line of shots. How much mana do you have? Eight. So just come and fuck up. Flank the archer some more. So he's got a bit more... Now he's running. Smack him up!
Oh, let them go. We can't catch the archer. Fuck him. Oh, Beatrice survived and so did Pete uh, Patrick Allen. Permanent weakness. One on future injury rolls. Okay, well, that doesn't really matter too much. Gain targets with deep gash on the leg. Movement penalty for 10 days. Oh, man. Okay. Well, we, no one died, so fuck it. Everyone survived. Hooray! And we got 400 gold. And we cleared the camp, so we got copper. Ready to be turned into all kinds of items and cheap weapons. Value 3,000. Iron. Ready to be turned into materials of war. We got a master shield. So that's for giant dad, definitely. A good spear. And then a bunch of other crap. And we receive a bounty of 1,000 gold as well. And the world just got a little bit safer. High five, motherfuckers. <clears throat> Gives you a nice upgrade there. Oh, I think it always says when an injury is permanent. Yeah, it says it's written red, doesn't it? Like uh, this chick. We move the writing. Damage knee is in red. So if we have a look at this guy, he'll have a red injury as well. Yeah, permanent weakness. And then he's got the same thing, but it lasts for only... It does has a different effect. The same name, but a different effect that's only temporary. So, Giant Dad, let's do your level up. Roll well, boy. Roll well. Ugh, it's okay. Bye, let's give him rotate. We want rotate on everyone. Rotate's far too useful not to have. Double ones. Oh my gosh, what does that mean again? If you want a double, you may take any level one skill for your class or upgrade any... Existing skill to level two. Okay, so she's a she's a warrior. So okay, we can get stuff like tough. We will reduce the severity of injuries after falling in battle. No shield increases the chance to block enemy attacks. Spear two increases combat skill with this weapon. Leader good for party morale and coordinating party teamwork. Having more than one leader can lead to confusion. However, does Dawn Asher? Do we want Dawn Asher to be our leader? Guards, team fighter, help to protect your uh, teamwork. Combat master, increases combat skills in face of multiple opponents. Teamwork, provides a small bonus to combat skills to adjacent friends. Marsh fighter, heavy armor. Whoa, that's really cool. We won that for Giant Dad, obviously. We'll get that. I say we get a spear too. This is an opportunity to upgrade her melee abilities. We don't want her to be a leader. No one cares about her, right? So we'll just get her spear, get her spear level up to level two. So she's quite good with a spear. We just found a new spear for her as well. Yeah, that ties in really well with that. That's that sinks. Yes. Give her spear too. Because we just found this. So spear common attack zero, defense minus two, damage five, critical plus two. Damage six, no defense penalty. It's much better. Boom. And then this psycho bitch. We're going to change her name to psycho bitch. Oops, I dropped my mouse. We're having her right out the back. Let's level her up and give her a crossbow skill so she stops shooting people in the back. Crossbow, please stop shooting people in the back. For the love of grace. Let's change the formation because uh, Giant Dad's almost dead as well. Giant Dad in the back. Patrick Allen in the back. This guy in the back. Her in the back. No one at the front. We literally can't do any more battles. Or everyone is going to die. If we get into one more fight, literally everyone is going to die. 
Honestly, I think either the archer or the maid should become the leader. Really, psycho bitch? You want psycho bitch to be the leader? What the hell is wrong with you, man? We'd be a, an army of lunatics. We wouldn't be a mercenary company. Let's head back to town. We need to rest desperately. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, the bandits are faster than us. If they catch us, which they're going to. Fuck. Retreat. Warning, running away can have serious consequences. Many enemies will give chase, and the slowest members of your party risk injury and death. Your game could even end here if the party are all cut down in flight. Fallen comrades are extremely unlikely to survive. Are you sure you want to flee? We've got no choice. We can't... We can't kill them in combat. We don't have anything left. Okay, there's only two of them. And neither of them are archers. We might be okay. Giant Dad can stay there. You open fire and for the love of God, don't hit anyone else. Fire! Fucking useless. <laughs> it like hit the tree on the right. <laughs> oh my God, not even the low tree, like high. Hit the branches up in the right, it went upwards. Oh shit, I didn't see him. Blam, he just shot me. I didn't see that guy. There's fucking three of them. Right, you can't miss now. Kill him. Thank you. Step forward and stab him. Stab him again. Nice work. You can come and tank this guy since you're so dodgy. I don't want the archer to... Oh, you've got a bit more health. Four. I still... I don't want the archer to shoot you. You've got fucking two, and you've got two. You're done, you're done. Yeah, that's it. Just stay there. Good luck. Oh, he's missing half his health. He got shot. This is not good. He's probably going to die. Oh, he's shooting for Giant Dad. Giant Dad, fucking leg it. Get out of there, man. They want to kill you. All the injured people can run like bitches. Come here and stab him. Good stab. Bleedy bleed. Shoot this fucking archer. No! You shot him in the back again! What the fuck? Apparently, the crossbow shoots in a straight line. Okay. It's obviously realistic, which is fucking cool as shit, because crossbows do fire in a straight line. It's not like Battle Brothers, where you can fire over and hit behind. You literally need a straight line of fire to be able to hit them with a crossbow. That is really cool, actually. We just need to learn that and stop fucking hitting ourselves in the back. Get him again. I may have just killed the priest. Oh, he bled to death. Thank fuck for that. And the other guy ran. Fuck me. That was lucky as shit. And we even got a shot in the back. We have learned the consequence of the crossbow. It cannot fire over people. It shoots into their back because it shoots in a straight line. Good to fucking know. I love it. Fantastic mechanic. Really accurate. No, let him go. How the fuck do we survive that? Another 300 gold as well. Very nice. And an axe. Right, let's get back to town before anything else happens. We need to rest seriously badly. We're back up to 4k gold now. That's pretty good. We can buy some better equipment. Right, firstly, let's rest. Resting in a town will heal your wounds more quickly and your adventurers will be pleased to have some time off. They will even pay for their own accommodation. Yeah, I definitely need to do that, Giant Dad. Line of sight is really important in this with a crossbow. Let's see how long resting one day does. How much resting one day does. You relax for a while and try to recover from your wounds. You soon begin to feel a little better. How much did that do? Oh, barely fucking shat jack shit all. One day does absolutely nothing. So you obviously need three days at least. The squares under them are red, yellow or green as the hit chance changes. Oh, really? Under who? 
You'll have to point that out to me next combat. I didn't I didn't notice anything like that. <laughs> You'll have to point that out in the next combat, please, if you can. Right, we're gonna have to rest three days at least. You relax for a while and try to recover from your wounds. You soon begin to feel a little better. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. A bit better. We can still do with another three fucking days, though, by the looks of things. Or another one day. We'll do another one day. Fuck me, guys. You take forever to heal. Much better. He'll heal that in um, while we're wandering around next. Okay. Everyone's back to full health. Good. Let's sell all the shit that we picked up. Common axe. We don't need that. We don't need any of this, actually. Right. Do we sell the copper here? Value 3,000. It's selling for 3,900. And that's value 3,000. Selling for 3,000. Oh, no. Just 3,000. They're both selling for base value. I think we should hold on to them for the moment. We don't need the money, right? And we could find an opportunity to sell them where the value is really high because the quantity that they have is really low, if that makes sense. So I think hold on to them for the moment. We don't need money for anything. Oh, cool. You can get chainmail, master chainmail. Oh, you must be able to get master plate mail as well. Cool. That's cool as shit. That's what we're saving up. That's your next upgrade, Giant Dad. 9k. Do we buy that nice axe for you? Do you have a good axe? No, you've only got a common axe. We could buy an upgraded axe for you at 4k. But that's most of our money. That leaves us with only 700. I think we should, though. We definitely want to upgrade our weaponry as quickly as possible. What's this? Axe good. We don't have to get that you're a master. What's the difference? Attack 3 plus 3. Defense minus 6. Damage 6. Attack plus 7. Damage 8. Defense minus 1. So it's got an extra 2 damage. It's got attack plus 7. An extra 2 damage. An extra 2 penetration. Speed minus 1. Speed minus 2 plus 1 penetration. Plus 2 penetration. Um... I don't see why not. We'll, we'll have plenty of gold left to carry on paying the crew. We've still got 12 days of bounty, bounty hunting to do on bandits. So we're just going to go killing bandits and this would be really useful for him. If we do come close to running out of money, we can just sell these. So there's no reason not to. Let's buy it. There you go, giant dad. You got a nice upgrade. Blam! From common to master got the best axe in the game you've got a master shield we just need to get you master chainmail and you're a beast what i'm curious about is the accessories which accessories well that was a successful endeavor actually i have to say oh another bandit camp let's do it let's do it Okay, last time it was over here. Should we carry on over here? Let's have another look. Over here seems like the good place they would be, to be honest. Let's come to the edge of the river. Check it's not over here. No, it's not. The character screen. Oh, you mean the accessories here? Yeah. Yeah, haven't I have no idea. I think you've got like belts and cloaks and stuff, don't you? I think those count as accessories. Oh, there's a bandit. Let's kill these fuckers. 
Oh, they're running from us. They're fucking quick. Well, luckily we're going this way anyway. Oh, here we go. They're coming back. Cool. We just caught them. Yeah, I get belts and cloaks and stuff like that, which goes in your accessory slot. One archer. Oh, I forgot to change the battle formation again. Let's uh, sort that out. You shoot this fucker. Blam! Good shot, finally! I wonder if you can fire over their shoulder, like if you're directly behind them, like in Battle Brothers. Like right next to them, directly behind them, if you fire over them. Because the last times we shot them in the back, we've been a few squares away, haven't they? So, for science, we'll... No, they don't appear to be helmets. For science, we shall... Uh, that's a good point, actually. I'll mention that to him as well. Uh, for science, we're going to try shooting over the back of the one of these guys at some point. Probably now. No, you want to shoot this archer. If you shoot him again, he'll die. No, shame, miss. Just wait them come to us. Since they're clump coming... Oh, good dodge. Good block, even. Right, giant dad. Your new axe. Mess him up. Oh, he blocked it. Okay. When you aim with the archer, hover and look at their feet. What am I looking at? I don't see anything, bruh. Or do you mean the archer's feet? Do you mean the colour of the square on them? That they're standing on? Like these colours. Green, yellow, red. Is that the yellow base, basically? Because it's kind of yellowish, right? Does that mean the, uh, the odds of him getting it? See, that's green, right? And that's yellow. That's what you're talking about, right? The base goes green. I'm going to shoot this guy anyway. Splam! Good shot! The square turns green, yellow, or red, depending on that hit chance. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Thanks for pointing that out. Oh, he's fleeing. No, we won't be able to catch and let him go. 300 gold, yeah. All right, let's see what this guy gets as an acolyte. Good roll, good roll. 10, nice. 10 is really good. Rolling a 10 allows perception or movement characteristics to increase. Oh, no, I was thinking of 11. Perception or movement isn't that useful for him. But he got a good... He can look at all this cool shit. Speed and perception he doesn't need. Heal. Heal an injured ally. Works better at close range. Fuck yeah. We're going to make him a healer, right? Force an enemy away from you. Darken an area. Aids escape and adds a penalty to a ranged attack. Targets any square with a fireball. Can affect all surrounding squares too. Summon beasts. Summon an animal of the wilds to help your cause. The more powerful beasts can be difficult to control. Cool. Bless. Removes a temporary combat boost to an ally. Provides a temporary combat boost to an ally. We're going to go for heal, right? We definitely want a healer. And then, or do we want to go for a beast summoner? That could be really cool, getting a beast summoner. We didn't choose the ambition to be a healer because I didn't know how hard it was to get. Now that I know he can choose it on like his second level, I'm gonna probably going to choose that as ambition next time that crops up. But for now... I'm not sure if we want a healer or we want a beast summoner. We obviously need a healer. 
A healer would be incredibly useful for keeping tanks alive and stuff like that against bandit leaders. But a beast summoner just sounds so fucking cool. I want to summon beasts. I want to summon like a bear and shit. Summon a dragon, yo. We can always get another acolyte. He can be our beast summoner. But now I think we need... I think... Importance-wise, for power level, we need to get the healer first. That would do us the most. The first mage should always be buff, heal, debuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're going to go for heal. I really want to get the beast hunter, but we'll find another acolyte and he can be a beast hunter. Let's go for heal. Okay, let's change their formation up now that he's the healer. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> right, we came from round here and then we haven't found it. So, oh, they were running from them. That's why. Let's get them. Ooh, there's four of them. That's 400 golds. Oh, shit. You've been ambushed. How were we ambushed? We saw the map. Your action points are reduced to 40 this turn. Oh, man. Shoot these fuckers. Oh, you can't because yeah, your action points have been reduced. All right, just charge. Move everyone forward. Oh, the archer's being shot. She has to return fire. Oh, these guys are just defending the archers. That's cool. Yeah, that's really cool. You can see they've got their shields raised. Me likey, me likey. And they're just defending the archers as well. That's a good tactic. So obviously, archer supremacy is a kind of thing in this. Heal... Three mana. Healing Engine Ally works better close range. How much does he heal for? Nice. He healed for quite a bit. Fucking ass archers. Oh, we got shot. Double shot. Charge them, lads. Do we heal her again? He's got 12 out of 15 mana. That's pretty good. Let's heal her again. Oh, they're shooting at you now, Giant Dad. Block it. Oh, shit. The bad guy got shot. Patrick Allen got shot in the face. Patrick Allen needs to get the fuck out of there. Giant Dad, fuck this fool up. Splamo. Uh, you have to fight, mate. Sorry. Get in there and... Oh, what the fuck? He didn't get an attack. I thought he had an attack. Return fire. Oh, shit. This is going terribly. Uh, how damaged is she? She's lost like half her health. He's lost like loads, so you can heal him now. Let's see how much, it w see how far the range is. So okay, so you can heal across the entire map, but it doesn't do much at that range. Cool. It only healed him by like one or two. You can see there, yeah, it only healed him by two or three or something. Oh, I forgot to move this bitch. Shit, that was a critical error. We could have used her in that fight. No, he died. I knew I shouldn't have moved him up. Giant dad, kill him. Nice, put him down, son. You move to here and fuck him up. 
you can shoot this one again. Blammo! You can attack as well. He keeps blocking the fucker. Oh shit, now this bitch is bleeding. Finish him. Or at least hit him. I need to move the mage up. He needs he could he could do stuff here. Oh they're fleeing, thank god. Thank fuck for that. Yeah, fuck him up. Teach him a lesson. Fuck, we lost the mace guy. Oh he didn't die. Deep abdominal wound, hit point penalty, 20 days. Oh, thank goodness. He didn't even get a permanent wound, I don't think. I don't think he got a permanent wound. Let's have a look. No, he did. Permanent weak. No, that was what he already had that. Yeah, he didn't get a permanent wound. Thank fuck for that. That's so good. Oh, it's because he's tough, isn't it? Yeah. We'll reduce the severity of injuries. Where is it? Yeah, we'll, we'll reduce the severity of injuries after falling in battle. Also, bonus to disease and poison and bonus hit point. Yeah, it's because he's got tough. He didn't get a uh, permanent injury. Nice. So he just got a free down without any real issue. We can just heal him up next round using the healer. Right? How much John Frank is there? Move him there and then he can just heal him immediately. How much mana does he have left? Six out of 15. We probably have to head back to town and rest after doing that. Whatever, we've got another level on this bitch we forgot to use. Five. Ugh. Should she be our diplomat, Beatrice? Haggle. She's we're not really using her for anything, are we? Dodge. She's just a kind of she's just a she's a rogue, but she doesn't really do much. Anything. She just kind of like meh. Spot trap, opportunity to disarm trap. She's just basically a spare rogue. Let's make her a haggle bitch. So you get better items in town. She can be our diplomat that you like you were talking about. Warrior can level up. Come on. Seven. Okay. Make her fit. Or give her shield. Increase the chance to block enemy attacks. Yeah, let's give her shield so she's more tanky. She needs healing as well. That blows. Let's swap her out so she doesn't get shot first immediately. Put the two injured in the back so they don't immediately get shot. And then heal them up in the next battle. Right, we need to come around this way and find see if the camp's around here. But guys, bear with me one second. I just need to go grab another drink and go to the loo again. I'll be right back in just a moment. Thank you so much for your patience.
Right, guys, I'm back. Thank you for your patience. Let's find this bandit camp. I'm not liking this. We're going to have to cross the river and find it up there. Crossing rivers takes forever. Don't go across the river. It'll take you forever. Come down this way and go around, you muppets. It better not be up in here. That would suck. <clears throat> well, we saved it. We can always load it. When was the last time we saved it? Let's save it now. We can always load it or abandon the contract if we can't find it. Because this is crazy. Where the fuck is it? It needs to give you a direction, like Battle Brothers does. North, east, south, or west, rather than just wandering around aimlessly in every... And it also needs to give you... Vicinity is too vague. So, it like, Battle Brothers at least says some way or a little bit... Um, some way, quite far, or a long way. Contract expired. Bounty hunting bandits has expired. Anyway. So we didn't even find the camp in the time it took to fight. We've been all up over here. I don't... Yeah, I don't agree with or particularly appreciate the... Oh, who's this? What the fuck? Orcs! Let's do it. An orc raiding party on the hunt for me. Let's fuck them up, guys. We're psycho, we're the boys, we can fuck them. We can fucking take some orcs, yo, let's do it. Rah! Charge! A, gu a guttural animal howling fills the air, and a group of astute green figures leaps away from the undergrowth and charge. Orcs, warning, this enemy is more numerous than normal. How much is more numerous then? Holy fucking shit, there's four of them! Five of them. Your enemies are going first as well. We're not ambushed at least. Okay, this is perfect. You can you can stop yourself getting flanked by staying. You can go up. No. Up one there. You can go there. And now only one orc can come in and fight there. You can shoot this orc in the face. No, not him. Not him. Her. Shoot this orc in the face. Nice shot. Whoa! He's got a lot of hit points. He's got 30 hit points. Fuck me, orcs are tough. Step forward, stop the arch getting in combat. Step forward and defend. Step forward and defend. Oh, I forgot we needed a heal, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, Dawn Ash is actually doing okay now. They're actually both doing okay. He could do with a heal. He's got 13 mana now as well. Yeah, definitely heal him. Peel Patrick Allen. <coughs> hey, he removed his injury as well, didn't it? Is that what it says it does? Works better closer. It just says heals an injured ally. I think it may have removed his, his injury, which is really cool. Well, that's all we can do now. Oh, Giant Dag can get his shield up, can't he? No, he, I messed up his action points by stepping too far. Sorry, Giant Dad. You should be fine, though. I don't think they can move in and attack. Fuck me, they move quick. Whoa! Did not expect that to come. Did not see that coming. We're flanked on the fucking flank. Right, fuck this orc up. Nice, and again. Very nice. Very nice. He's almost dead. Yes, Patrick Allen. Nail him. Good work, Patrick Allen. Come around the flank. Get your shield up, lady. Just defend. For the love of God, just defend. 4.5% chance to attack. No, 45% chance. Oh, we'll go for it. No, shame. See, let's see. Let's test this theory. Can we shoot over the shoulder? Yeah, we can. Okay, so if we're immediately next to them. We can do stuff. Come here and stun this orc. Okay, did not do anything. Uh, go for the attack. you got to go for the offense. Oh, this guy's slightly injured. Yeah, go for the offense. Try and free your friend. 
Okay, good luck, guys. Oh, God. Oh, God, they're beating the shit out of us. Oh, 10 damage. Blamo! Oh, God. Oh, man. Giant Dad, take our place. Get your shield up. No, go for an attack. Kill this orc. Ignorant orc. Teach it lesson. Uh, come round and fuck him up. Is that critical? Is that what that means? Oh, I get how the hit chance works. You do? That's good. Uh, you can heal yourself. What? No casting in combat? Oh, he can't cast while he's in combat. I didn't know that. Okay, for the love of God, stun the enemy then or you're fucked. Stun this fucker. Good. Did you stun him? It doesn't say. Stunned. It says stunned. That doesn't seem to do anything, though. If you look under the hit chance, it says the ups and downs. Hang on. We'll, t we'll do it next round if anyone survives. No, Patrick Allen. No, woman. No, healer. No. I shouldn't have moved him into combat. I didn't know he couldn't cast in combat. Giant dad, avenge him. Nice avenging. Take his place over your body. Take your place over his body. Uh, stun this fucker. Stun doesn't seem to do anything. See, he's stunned now, but it doesn't seem to do shit. Good shot. Good shot. No, Patrick Allen! No, other lady! Oh my god, these guys have just fucking everything in the ass. Apart from Giant Dad, he's the only one who can survive. Shit, she's in combat. She has to run away. Take a hit. Nice. Now shoot him. Right, Giant Dad, you can 1v1 this orc. Blam! No, you can't. Headshot. <laughs> Oh my god, that's a wipe, guys. That is a wipe to orcs. Orcs are nasty fuckers. They are not like orcs. Well, they are like normal adult orcs. They're not like the orc young. I thought they'd be more like orc young at this point in this game. They are not. They are just fucking dangerous. They just eradicated us, stomped all over us. The only person who's surviving is our leader, Psycho Bitch. And only because she can die. Oh, she can't shoot him in the face. She doesn't have enough. Because he got the hit, she doesn't have enough fatigue. So run away instead. See if he can catch you. Oh, he can. Step away to there and shoot. Oh, you're dead now. You're fucking dead, woman. Oh, he's exhausted. You might be okay. No, nope, she's dead. Everyone died. Everyone died. We got crushed in battle. That's it. Everyone died. We all got beaten to death by orcs. Everyone's dead. We got an achievement for it as well, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Defeat. Disaster. You lie fallen on the battlefield, battered and broken as your enemies pick over your dying bodies. Okay. Right, well, guys. I'm going to leave the stream there. I've got plenty to report back to Mike too on the, uh, the things we feel need working on. I'm definitely going to carry on. Yes, I had a hell of a lot of fun playing, and we've only just scratched the surface. Uh, it's just I've been streaming now for a few hours, so I want to take a break. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. This is the book of the game. Check out the wiki in the description down below. It'll take you to the single um, studio, single man army, single man army, single man studio uh, web page where he's got his books uh, that the lore of this game was based upon as well as the wiki there might give you a bit more information about how stuff works in this game I'm certainly having fun learning I hope you're having fun watching hopefully I will see you in the next episode should be around tomorrow around the same time 
tomorrow around 12 o'clock, probably, I aim to stream this again. So hopefully I will see you all there. Giant Dad, thank you for joining me. See you next time. Thanks for... I hope you had a good time. Thanks for joining. And yeah, peace out till next time. I produce content almost every single day. So I will see you in the next episode.